All right, we are moving on to number five, mix them up. So here's the deal. All of these songs at the bottom of page six, so five, six, and seven are just different combinations of the note E, D, and C. So we're gonna have to figure out with our eyes, how are we going to tell the difference between E and C? Well, E is on the actual line and C is lower. C has a special line below the staff and D just hangs out in the middle. So let's say the notes for number five. Take your finger, put it right on number five. You're gonna tap your foot and say the notes with me. Here we go. One, two, say the notes for number five. E and rest. Two, three, four. D, rest. Two, three, four. C, rest. Two, three, four, D, rest, two, three, rewind. You're gonna do your fingers while you say it this time. So if we forget what the fingers are for E, D, and C, we can look at the little tan boxes at the top of the page. We start with E and that's one and two. So let's do the fingers and say the notes. One, two, fingers and notes. E, switch to D, one and three in the rest. D, switch to C, no fingers, go. C, back to D, one and three, go. D, press, two, three. Good, rewind to the beginning. We're gonna play it. Remember, nice strong T sound before you start. And of course, we always do a foot check and a back check to make sure you're sitting up Nice and straight. Here we go. E fingers first. This is number five. One, two. Ready, play. Switch to D. One and three. Play. Switch to C. No fingers. Play. Switch to D. One and three. Play. Shake out your hands. We're going to number six. Put your finger right on it. Now, if you know that your eyes can follow, I know some people, their eyes go, woo, I can't follow. Okay, put your finger on it and say the notes. If your eyes can follow in a straight line, then do your fingers and say the notes. So whichever is more helpful to you. You can always rewind it and go back the second time if you were pointing to the notes the first time. You can do your fingers the second time. So do whichever one's best for you. I'm going to say the notes and do my fingers. Here we go. This is number six. Starting on D, saying the notes, please. One, two, number six, say it. D, switch to C, no fingers, go. C, look ahead and switch to E, go. E, switch to D, one and three, go. D, Now you notice I'm switching my fingers as soon as the note before it is over. I do not wait till the last minute because sometimes when you're playing, one of your valves might get stuck in. So if you waited till the very last time, you won't even have time to fix it. So as soon as the sound stops and you can switch to your fingers, switch your fingers early and then blow when it's time to blow. Let's play. Here we go. Number six. Foot check. Back check. Lick your lips check. D fingers check. One and three. Here we go. One, two. Number six, play. Switch to C. Ready, go. E, one and two. Ready, go. Switch to D. Ready, go. Rest, and the song's over. Awesome. All right, last song. Number seven, band on parade. Put your finger on it or do your fingers because we are saying the notes. Here we go. So either pointing to the notes with your finger or doing your fingers on your trumpet, saying the notes for number seven. One, two, starts with C and go. C, switch to D, ready, go. D, switch to D. 
switch to E, one and two. Go. E, back to C. Ready, go. C, here we go, we're ready to play. Back to the beginning. You can hear my foot tapping, right? That should also be your foot tapping with me. As soon as I start saying numbers, your foot starts tapping on the beat, even in the rest, because your foot's not part of the band. Just what sound comes out of your trumpet is part of the band. Your foot is for you to keep the beat. Okay, here we go, number seven. One, two, ready and play. Switch to D, one and three. Switch to E, one and two. good that means you are using them correctly okay for your practicing this week you need to play every song on this page two times in a row and you need to pick your four days that you want to do that so two times in a row and don't be like two times and then walk away do the whole page at once so your muscles get used to playing for a long period of time okay I'm gonna post a YouTube playlist of the recordings from this book where literally they've recorded every song and someone counting you in just like I did and it's recorded every song two times. So you could do your homework right along with the recordings. You can also look at, um, if you have Standard of Excellence, the purple part of your book, on the inside of the cover it tells you how you can get the tracks on your computer, but someone's already put them on YouTube. So I will share that with you guys in, um, in this module so you can play along. Okay, happy practicing. When you're done with your practicing, check out what the assignment is so I can see how you did this week.